Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're back down here working on our little Farmall F14 engine. Um, we've got it stripped right down now and we're just cleaning it up to start putting it back together. Um, the first things to go back in are going to be the cylinder liners here. It's really important when we're putting these liners back in to make sure we get everything perfectly clean. So this step in here needs to be clean because the top of the liner seats down on this step. Uh, the other spot that is much harder to get clean is right down in the bottom of the block here. Um, just down here there's an o-ring groove and it's very hard to get in there to clean it out. I'll just see if I can get the camera in and show you a little bit more as to what it's like. Okay, so we can just see the O-ring groove in here. Now the old O-rings, you can see there's one O-ring in this cylinder next to it. They're pretty, they're in really poor condition and they're really thoroughly stuck into the, uh, into the um, recess there for them. So I have managed to dig the one out of this side, but you can see there's still um, a couple of bits of it stuck in there and we need to make sure that this is really really clean before we start reassembling the block okay so i've got a pick with a 90 degree bend on it here and we can see that this one's half hanging out already and we're just going to see if we can get it out now yeah. this is a rubber o-ring but it doesn't look much like it anymore um, so we've just got to work around in there and try and get all the remaining bits of that out. Then I'm going to use a little flat bladed screwdriver to get in there and scrape a bit more of it out. Okay, there's another, another bit of it out of there. Normally these come out of here in one piece just like a normal o-ring would. Um, but this one's been in here for so many years now with a bit of corrosion to help hold it in that it's just disintegrated. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is get the narrowest wire brush I can find and this is actually a little bit wide this one. I'd like it about half that width on a drill. Um, and Coming in from underneath the cylinder, I'm going to try and get as much dirt out of that, uh, that gro ring groove as I possibly can. We can see in here, even though I've had a good pick at it, um, there's still a lot of dirt up in this, this groove here. So this little wire brush does a pretty good job at cleaning a lot more of it out um, but there's still a lot more in there to go to, to get out. Okay next I've just cut a little flat piece of scrap metal um, that is the same width as the groove down in here and I'm just going to use this as a little scraper to get in here and scrape round the bottom of the groove to make sure that's clean and I've got all that old o-ring out of there. We can see that there's still a bit of the rubber sitting down in here just in this section here because it's a different colour to the metal around here. It's quite hard to tell when you've actually got all the rubber scraped out of there. 
Okay, so this is one of our new sleeve, cylinder sleeves that we're going to be putting in. There's a T-piece up or a ridge up the top here. This sits down into this ridge here. Um, and we need to have the right protrusion. The old ones were sitting up seven thousandths of an inch on there. So we need to have this surface here clean so that this seats in properly and we get the right protrusion. Um, and we don't want it to squash down too much when we uh, put the head on. But also if we have one of these sitting up too much, it will mean that the head is not sitting down tight on this one here. Um, so we're likely to blow the head gasket over here. Um, so it's very important to get the top bit clean. Now these top ones are reasonably easy to clean. I've got an old power hacksaw blade that's been sharpened at the end and I use that to run around and uh, scrape any of the carbon off the ridge. We want to be very careful that we don't start taking metal off this ridge too because if we, um, if we use anything that's too abrasive we'll start taking the metal down and that will change our protrusion on the top as well. So we want to get in there and make sure that's all nice and clean. Um, and I've just got a metal scriber here that I can get right into the uh, into the back corner with and make sure I've cleaned all of that out. Um, and I also want to run around the side lip and make sure that that's all nice and clean. We will clean these up with a bit of um, thinners a bit later on. Okay, so I've spent a fair amount of time cleaning up our block. Um, so when the block is clean and ready to take the sleeves, they should just drop in that easily. They sh you should also be able to turn them in each of the balls and just lift them back out again. So this block's a little, is pretty good. Oops, that one's still just a little bit tight for some reason. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and clean up the surfaces on here and on here with a bit of acetone. This just helps to take off any of the carbon and dirt that's remaining in here. Just plain acetone from Bunnings or somewhere like that. This is pretty good at dissolving carbon. Good idea to wear gloves. It stings a bit if you get it in your cuts and things like that. Um, but this, you can also use something like carby cleaner in a spray can if you've got that. That's really good also for cleaning up all of this stuff. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time wiping these down now. Um, and wiping the sleeves down. Uh, and then we'll get the O-rings and we'll put the O-rings in and fit the sleeves. Okay, these are the new O-rings to go down in our uh, down the bottom of our bore here. Um, and these ones just go in dry. We don't put any oil on these at the moment. Um, so I will bring the camera a bit closer and hopefully you'll be able to see down into here while I put this into position. Okay, so the O-ring goes right down the bottom here. It's very, very hard to get a decent, uh, decent shot of this. Um, but it just tucks into this groove down the bottom here and it should tuck all the way in. Very, very hard to get my hand in and a shot of it at the same time. Okay, so that's gone in and it's sitting in all the way around now, um, sitting down very nicely. Okay, next we're going to put the sleeve in, but we need to lubricate this just a little bit before we do. Now, they don't recommend oil on these. Most O-rings you put in with oil. On these, they recommend 50% dishwashing liquid and 50% water. So I've got some in the cup here. Um, we're just going to rub it round all the way up to this shoulder. And 
and then it should just slip straight into place. And we're in. Easy as that. Now that we've got a couple of them in, we're just going to check the protrusion. So how much this, how much of a step there is between the sleeve and the block. Now the old ones were seven thousandths of an inch. Um, I believe the tolerances on these are about three thousandths to seven thousandths. So we're just going to put the straight edge across it, and that's a, a seven thou feeler gauge there, and that fits just fits in nicely through there. Um, so that should be pretty good, I think. Okay, I'm going to put in the other two O-rings, um, and then we'll uh, put the cylinders, in, the sleeves in, and turn it round and have a look underneath it. Okay, so we've got the engine upside down now, and we can have a look at the underside of our new sleeves. So we can see them sticking out here. What we're looking for here, just to make sure that we didn't accidentally push one of the O-rings through when we were installing them. These all look really good. Now, some engines, they actually put, will put the cylinder head on uh, at this point uh, and pressure test the cooling system um, on the big Cummins truck engines and things like this. Um, this one doesn't run a pressurised cooling system, so we're not going to do anything like that at the moment. Uh, anyway, this is how you put sleeves in. I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I hope you found it useful. I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.